Where are we? Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey guys, so today I'm doing a deep cleaning of the RV. I'm planning on going behind the bed, uh, probably just looking through kind of that back area to see if there's anything I need to clean up back there, but it should be good. I'm not seeing any signs of mold uh, going through summer. That was kind of an issue. Uh, it's usually actually more of an issue right going into winter because, you know, a lot of condensation and things like that, but that's only whenever we really heat up uh, the inside. And we don't do that anymore because we're not staying in here too much. Uh, but we are planning on staying here soon. So I thought I'd get the whole place kind of child friendly. Uh, which it kind of already is. I mean, if you look at it, basically this space right here is kind of like the only area that's a little concerning. Everything else, I mean, she's smart enough not to hurt herself on most of this. Except for that. So, uh, really just kind of a general cleanup, um, and then I want to clean the outside of it if I have time. Uh, it's pretty dingy, it just, you know, went through two seasons without being cleaned on the outside, and so I was thinking about just getting a mop and just at least cleaning off the, uh, I don't know, whatever that green stuff is. So I'm hoping you guys can help me out on this. Uh, it's probably not good. But, um, I don't know. I thought I'd show y'all anyways. So what is this? I don't know if I can get that zoomed in. Basically, I found it right here. Just a little pile of it. And kind of inside of here. I don't see any holes anywhere. Is that something from, I mean, termites? What? What is it? I don't know. Just... 
Something did it. Could it be rat? I don't know. It can't be that. Either way, I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've been in here and kind of really cared about it. So, I don't know. What is that? <laughs> what, the, what the heck is that? So I've cleaned out the entire fridge, cleaned out the freezer, just went ahead and just threw everything out. Uh, no idea how long it's been in there. A little while, probably a little over a year. Um, I got most of the perishables out of there. It's just the stuff that you know lasts forever, but I'd still rather have some fresh versions of it, whatever it is, like mustard and things like that. Um, same thing with the freezer stuff, just want fresh versions of all that. And uh, I'm not saying that I keep mustard around for a year, whatever, either way it's gone. And then uh, just taking out all the trash, and then there's a trash can outside that hasn't been changed in a while. I'm gonna change that out. Basically, just you know, moving back over here uh, briefly. Uh, so I want to make sure it's completely livable, no weird smells or anything like that. Because uh, this is Eva's real experience with the RV for the first time in a little, well, I mean, I doubt she remembers the first time she was over here. So uh, it's gonna be pretty cool. She loved stopping around over here just a couple days ago, and so we knew that we had to make this whole thing happen again uh so here i am and uh i'm gonna dust off all the counters i'm gonna hand mop the floors down there uh use a little bleach on a few items here and there beyond that i think i think that's pretty livable um need to clean the sheets on the bed still need to check behind the bed and then organize a few things but i think we're done i think we're ready um and then i want to clean the outside but I thought about cleaning the outside while Eva's staying with us. I don't know. Um, it doesn't have to be done today is what I'm saying. So, uh, And one last thing I have to do is take out the black. Since it's almost Christmas time, dump it to crump it, right? Thought I might need to do a finishing touch for Eva. So I'm going around anywhere that it's like like waist level is where she can kind of reach to um waist level on me i'm like 510 I, I know you wanted to know all of that so yeah um do the math there either way uh like counter height uh and down so i gotta go through and make sure all those plugs are covered and uh of course in rvs i doubt she can figure this out because i can barely figure it out but we just have to watch her that's where uh, all the fuses are and, you know, a whole fun slew of electricity-based items. So, I'll keep her out of there. It's nice in here because she can just have free reign, you know? Yeah. Oh. <gasps> what was that? What do you think? Oh yeah, these these are all baby clothes. Well, well then I got, a, I got a bag for that. They're too little. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my gosh. I thought this was folded. I'm trying to unfold it. That's <laughs> little skirt thing. Yep, I'll speed this up for you. Eva! Eva! <gasps> Your mini! Your mini mouse! Eva! Wait, 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 no, oh. She's trying to show her. <laughs> I reject the Disney. <laughs> yeah! That's Eva. You look crazy. That's Eva. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Eva. Ooh. <laughs> you sure you should be sitting there? No. There's a chair right here. Yeah. There's a chair right there. 
Well, this supported. There's a chair in there. This supported weight earlier. I think it can support that. Okay. Is that is and that no your bugs. little nook? No bugs can crawl out because I actually put stuff all through here. I remember. Are you stuck? Which one of the most frustrating things about having a slide out is all the dust that gets stuck under here. Mm -hmm. So that's like a good tip for. We did anybody. that a long time ago. Uh, we did it. No, we did it kind of when we got her. It wasn't that long ago. She that was a year and some change. It just feels like it was yesterday. I know. I know. This is like a death trap, though. Yeah, man. Hi. Hi. Eva, we spent so many hours in this bed when I was pregnant with you. You didn't have to worry. She slept right here? No, she slept there. With her little... And then she slept there. The it was here. Oh my gosh. So one major issue I need to correct. That's That tarp is still up there? Yeah, because the... Leak. Yeah, there's a it, it, the whole thing's disintegrating. The what are, what's it called? The cover? Because it's in direct sunlight. It's in direct sunlight all the time. I need to resurface the roof, but the roof's not in bad shape, so I just need to fix that cover though. It has to be replaced, mm -hmm. not fixed. And then we need to put something over it to protect it from the sun. Probably sunscreen. <laughs> sunscreen to just lather it. <laughs> yeah, <on. laughs> just go out there once a week. What do you think? Uh, I mean, it's nice, guys. <laughs> uh, uh, we're not staying oh. here for that long, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the only thing. If we do stay in here, did you mention that we might stay in here? That's why yeah. you're planning it? Then we'll need to pad everything around if she sleeps in the bed. We don't need to pad anything over here. No, because we're on either side of her. She doesn't fall oh, off our true. bed. So it's not like she's going to go over there. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I've sent my baby proof to place. <coughs> I just tried to make it work. What do you see? Alright, so we need a lot of cold brew. We need some. Oh, the air fryer. Because we don't have a stove. We have a microwave. We need. Our laptops with a lot of movies. I think we're gonna have a good a good day or two or I don't know. Just out here for a week. Yeah. Well we do this and then eventually we take this out. <laughs> I got her. I got her. So how long do you guys how long do you guys think we should stay in the RV? Um, we're obviously not going anywhere right now. That's going to be for another time. But I do want to stay in here and just kind of see how it goes with Eva. Um, also, I just miss, I miss the RV. I really do. Um, I'm looking forward to having our house at some point, but I miss just this space and the closeness of it and just the simplicity kind of, of being in here. And it's clean and simple. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see how that goes. So far, she, she seems to like it. And on a weird separate note, like, you know, we, we financed the thing. And what I'm doing right now is actually making bulk payments towards it. And so it's just going to be another thing that just kind of feels good, just having it paid off. And so, like, the house being done and the RV being paid off, it's just kind of a cool feeling. And it's, it kind of gives me that freedom. Like, oh, we can just go whenever in, in the RV. And I don't know. It, it's just a feeling, right? Mm -hmm. Sense of pride, I guess. I'm sure some of y'all feel some kind of pride towards having an RV or even the thought of having an RV. I don't know. I don't know where everyone else is in their life of, uh, you know, our, regarding RVs. Yep. Just wanted to say I'm paying the thing off soon. Yep. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so, um, Matt and I came in here. Well, Matt, I, Eva, and Brady actually all came in here yesterday after our walk 
Um, what did we do? I don't know. We came back in here to look at a couple things and uh, plan for cleaning. Right? Mm-hmm. We're grabbing something, right? Oh, your Wonder Woman costume. Oh, yeah. Yeah, which doesn't fit. But... Hey, it kind of... Kind of... It's a squeeze. Um, squeeze! Even squeeze! Ah. Anyway, so we came in here and, like... I'm going to try not to cry. But, like, the memories of Buzz and just all of us being in here... Um, it's, yeah, it's cool. been so long since we've all been in here. I come in here and, and work every now and then, but um, I just remember like opening the door and having the dog just jump out and go to the the pen and just like just Buzz fun. and Brady jumping up on the bed, and snuggling and <laughs> until they couldn't jump up anymore, kicking <laughs> us in the face and the, yeah, and then you know Buzz's hips were starting to get bad and so he would sit at the bottom of the bed and just stare up at us and wait for us to pick him up yeah. and put him on the bed. Or and once he was up there, he would stay. You remember that? He no, would just want to stay on the bed. Until there's food. Yep. And then he would jump down, and there would be like a loud thud. You know? Oh, yeah. Are you talking to Elmo? <laughs> she is. But now we have all kinds of new memories to make, and we need to get this thing back on the road. Mm-hmm. But I'm thinking we probably won't go back out anywhere until after the holidays, like after winter-ish, you know, like who knows, I mean, January, February, March, somewhere around there. Winter in Texas is pretty mild. That's actually a decent time to do stuff. Well, I'm just thinking family. I think we probably want to stay here most of those, those times and just kind of experience stuff. I with wouldn't family. mind going to a couple local places, if possible. If we if we are able to one have the house be taken care of, to get all of this ready to go in time for the holidays, I wouldn't mind going to somewhere like Big Chief again. I really like that that place. Was that in Lano? Uh, close. It's Somewhere between, in that area. It's between, there's like a, a road between Lano and not Marble Falls. Somewhere up there. Mm-hmm. I really liked it though. because they had. We were right next to, um, I don't remember what lake. We were right, right next to the lake. But then they also had a pool and a hot tub in nice. the RV. Um, I bet those are close right now. Well, yeah, they will be close for the winter. They didn't allow dogs, right? Oh, no, no, no. We only paid for one dog we brought to you. That's right. Yeah, so we had to take the dogs out in shifts. <laughs> yeah, because we're cheap like that. <laughs> it was like 10 bucks a day per dog or something. Oh, maybe it was like, I've been more. I it can't was, remember. Or maybe 50. I don't know. It was, I think it was like 50 ridiculous. a day per I mean, dog. no, we paid for both of them. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. We're big chief star, but... <laughs> anyway. Um, we had well, a good time. It'll, it'll just be one dog next time. Um, yeah. <laughs> Or we may not take a dog the first time. She's dancing in front of a pillow. She's loving it in here. I mean, she's pretty happy anywhere we go. We can hang stuff from the ceiling. Like, we can turn this into her space, and I don't even care. I just need to be able to cook something. That's about it. Are you swinging? (laughs) You're just so cute. The shower's good. Uh, It doesn't smell like eggs. You know, like, you always have to check that anode rod in there. That's good. Uh, Yeah, I mean... The only thing that I'm not sure about are the tires. But, That's something but, for you guys to weigh in on. If what? y'all want to... I mean, this the RV's been sitting here for... Too long. It, two no, years? The, the tires are, are not going to be good. So I already know that I'm going to have to replace those. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. But I have to get an inspection on the thing just because I need to get, a, get it registered so that I can refinance it. So that's all part of it, too. Like, I know I'm making these larger payments and everything, but still it'd be cool to get it refinanced and then make it through my primary bank. A couple of little extra tidbits there, but all that is one trip. So I just need to take it to, like, Firestone where my friend works, and uh, I'm sure he can hook me up with a bunch of stuff. So, yeah, got to do that sometime this year probably. So. This year's going by pretty fast. We still have another Hopefully by the end of the year About we'll have a months. house. At least a frame. Uh, no, it has to be uh, completely dried in. Oh, You're not yeah. going to see just a frame. You're going to see, like, it's going to go from nothing to dried in, like, within about a month. Yeah, but she's pretty, good just, she's pretty good just running around. Yeah. Pulling no, but on she, things. We need to put stuff on the walls, things that she can play with, you know? Like, I don't know. Ribbons and things that we can just bolt ribbons to the wall. And knobs and buttons. Yeah, and like strings <laughs> that she can pull on. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, you attach it at the top and the bottom, and it's a loop. Like a little And so she just pulls it. Yeah. It never ends. It's like just at the gym. Yeah. (laughs) You know that machine takes the rope pull, but it just, it's a constant loop. And we keep doing it every day. (laughs) Gyms, gym stuff never ends. Workouts never end. 
Well, cool. I'm excited. I think it'll be nice, like a little change of pace. And She's backing into a corner. Fun for her, fun for us. Um, I thought no one was moving in the corner. She puts herself in the corner. Oh, I get it. Anyways. Oh, okay, right. she's playing with the fuses. Oh, she can't open them. She, she, Stop yeah, she can't to open freak it. everybody out. Yeah. Oh, she got one. Everyone on YouTube would be like, oh my god. Hey, you're terrible parents. She can't open that. I can hardly open that. No, we can box. barely open the thing. It took us like a week to figure out what was wrong with something. No, not that long. It took a while. Like I couldn't figure out where to press. I, I didn't even know you press. I was just pulling the whole time. I thought I was going to break the thing. So, hey, if it doesn't work, just keep <laughs> just manhandle it, right? I look forward to the next one where we actually stay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So are we are we coming in here tomorrow? This is weird. It's an RV video. I know. Cool. Uh, yeah, we can come in tomorrow. Unless unless work or something takes us a different direction. But worst case scenario, would be the next day or whatever. So this week. Alright. Y'all keep an eye out for the next Fitness Friday video. Um. Yeah. Probably do a workout. Probably do a workout. Maybe it'll be an outside workout like I used to do because it's not a thousand degrees outside anymore. Uh, That's really nice. Oh, she's kissing the pillow. It's still like 90. Uh, it's back yeah, up in the 90s. But the mornings. If I can get out here in the morning, that'd be real nice. Oh, oh. She's saying bye bye. I mean, she's loving this. She's saying bye bye. Cool. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Um, Eva. Eva, can you say bye bye? Eva. Eva, say bye bye. <laughs> this is her little mess now. Bye bye. It's like, are we leaving? There you go. Bye bye. Just real quick. Oh my bye gosh. Bye. She's understanding it. Let's just do this real quick. Oh wait. There we go. Man, we just invited adults in here that don't like they can't figure out that door, and she almost just did it right there. <laughs> she grabbed the right part. And everything. I know. All she had to do was just this a little bit, and she would have been out the door. Yeah. Down the stairs. All right, bye bye. Our daughter's a genius. Have fun with her, guys. Bye. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show.